Hello everybody, it's Adam here coming back to you from Houdini 14 with kind of a flip around. We're going to try to get an animated armature or a character from Blender transferred into Houdini. So let's just get right to it here. Um, if you do not, I'm going to close that out. Whoops. If you do not have Blender, just go to blender.org, download, and choose the one for your OS. Once you've got that installed and up and running, let's go to blendswap.com and go ahead and sign up. I'm signed up here. Uh, it's free. And then click on the search and type DUG. And we're going to work with this rig right here, um, which is a nice little rig. Um, it's, it was used in this Giants of the Earth video. And uh, you click on the download and it, it presents you with this agreement. You have to agree to abide by the license, which happens to be free, CC0. Um, I've already downloaded it, so uh, I'm just going to pop over to Blender and we're going to bring it in. Now, I just downloaded the latest, Blender 2.75a, as of the recording of this, and um, I'm just going to click away from the splash, go up to File, and say click on open and then browse to where you downloaded this McDougal's employee. Now before you rush to open the blend file, um, especially if you're a new user of Blender, let's go ahead and disable or turn off load UI. Just like Houdini, Blender carries with it the arrangement of windows or its user interface with the blend file. So as a new user you might just want to turn that off so that when you open the file, it's going to look just like this, the default settings. So I'm going to middle drag in the 3D viewport. That's kind of how you uh, pan around. And I'm going to mouse wheel in just a touch here. That looks good. We're going to go down here and set our end frame to 60 frames. We're going to make a 60 frame animation. Now, this area down here are our layers, and we can see we have an orange ball, a non-orange ball, and then some empty spaces. So if we click on the non-orange ball, this is the layer system. We can see all of our lights and camera are on this layer. And the orange ball, our rig and mesh are on this layer. So this is the layer we want to work with. Let's go ahead and click on the word fat bastard over here. That will select the armature. And if we examine this area here, we can see that it's in pose mode. There are three different modes for armatures, but it happens to be in the mode we want to work with. Pose mode is where you animate the armature. And if we examine the, in, the uh, interface here, we can see we've got a blue outline around this bone. That means it's selected. So the bone we want to animate is the big bone here. So just right click on this guy and then left click on the tip of this blue arrow and just kind of pull down and we'll say that's good. I'm going to move over here and click the plus icon and this is kind of like the P key in Houdini. It brings up your parameters and you can see here we're at a Z of negative 5.8. Um, we're going to say that's his down position. We're just going to make him bounce up and down for this simple example. So I'm going to right click, move down to insert single frame, and click. Uh, it turns yellow to indicate this is a keyframe. And then I'm going to move to frame 20 here. I'm going to right click, insert single keyframe, move to 40, right click, insert single keyframe, and then I'll click the fast forward to end, go to frame 60, right click, insert single keyframe. So now we've got our down position. We want our up position on 10, 30, and 50. So we'll go to 10. Once again, left click on the blue tip and we'll just kind of move him up to say, whoa, maybe like there. And we'll left click on this Z and when you do that, Blender highlights the number for you. So I'm going to press Control C on my keyboard to copy that to the clipboard. I'll press Enter. 
and then I'm going to right click in this field and insert the single keyframe on frame 10. So we'll move to 30, we'll click in the field, I'll paste that value from the clipboard, hit enter, right click, insert single keyframe, and then go to 50, click, paste, enter or return, right click, insert single keyframe. Now if I rewind, we can see he's moving up and down at 13 frames a second. So Blender is giving us a red warning saying this is not at real time, but at least we've got some motion going on. So let's press stop and rewind, and let's do one more bone. We'll right click on the head bone, and for Y rotation, uh, while I'm at frame one there, I'm going to click and type negative 0.1. That makes him look to his right. And I'll right click in here, insert single keyframe. We'll go to the end, right click, insert single keyframe. And then at frame 30 here, I'll just do the opposite, which will be 0.1, and he will look to the left, or his left. Insert single keyframe. Now when I rewind and play, you can see he looks around while he's bouncing up and down. So let's go ahead and get this rig into Houdini. And if you notice, we only have three keyframes, but we have 60 frames. So if we transfer this through FBX to Houdini, it will not work because what's making this work is the rig configuration inside of Blender. But we can bake this information into our export so that when it gets to Houdini, there will be a keyframe on every frame and the rig will work correctly. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to move my mouse up here and press the B key. And this is for drawing a box. So I'm just going to click and drag down to the bottom. And I've selected all the bones. They're outlined in this light blue color. Move my mouse into the gray area, press the space bar, and type bake. Let's choose bake action. Not this bake, but bake action. This presents us with another panel here, and the defaults are OK. Because we selected everything, we can use only selected. So let's click OK. We'll wait this out. Watch this area. Now we have a keyframe for every frame for each bone. This will work. This will get us what we want into Houdini. So now all we have to do is select the mesh here, um, and we'll transfer that with us you know, transfer that through the FBX. So I'm going to press the B key again and box select the whole rig. And notice nothing, it didn't work right. And it didn't work right because we're, our armature is still in pose mode. So let's move to object mode and then move up here and press the B key again and drag a box around and make sure you get his shoes here. And now we've got an orange outline around our whole mesh, an orange outline around our armature, and we're ready to export. Move over to File menu, drag down, choose FBX, and then I'm going to move to this little divider bar, click and drag up so we can see all our options. We want to use selected objects. I'm going to choose a scale of 0 0.1 because Blender seems to be 10 times larger than Houdini for some reason. I'm going to left click on the word Armat, which is short for armature. Then I'm going to shift click on mesh so that both of these are blue. I'm going to turn off leaf bones, we don't need that. And then we'll just export our FBX and wait this out. This is a single core Python process. It's writing the FBX file for us. And when the viewport returns, we're done. So let's go ahead and pop back to Houdini here. So now that we're in Houdini, let's go up to File. We'll choose Import Film Box. Drag this down. Browse to uh, the location of that. I placed mine in Models, McDougall's employee, there's the Fat Boy FBX. I'm going to accept that. Now, cameras out of Blender just don't work, so we'll turn that off. We're not going to worry about lighting either. 
And the only other thing we want to do is turn off convert Y. We don't need that. We'll import this and once again we're going to wait this out. This is a single core Python process inside of Houdini. Now our object still came in very large. Uh, I'm going to press spacebar G to move out and then uh, we'll click play and there we go. We've got our dancing guy from Blender transferred to Houdini for rendering. Put this in real time and we're getting 24 frames a second. So, so we're actually getting better playback here inside of Houdini on the same hardware while I'm screen capturing compared to Blender. Now one thing you may notice is his hat's missing and his little utility belt. So the reason why that happened is was due to certain parenting, the way it was, um, the way the rig was set up and everything. So uh, I want to bring this little tip up here. If we go to import again and notice this high joints attached to skin. We left this on so it hid the joints. Now the hat was parented to one of those joints so it was hidden as well. So let's cancel out. I will select this guy, press I key to dive inside and we're gonna go full screen so you can see this. Um, and you can notice with the hide turned on all their visibility flags are off. And these are all nulls so what we're looking for is this icon here, a geo. So let's pan around I'm just middle dragging, looking for some geo nodes. Um, where are they? Here it is. A hat. This is one. And let's keep going. There might be quicker ways to find nodes of certain types. Here's cuff. Let's turn that one on. Uh, chest. Let's keep going here. We've got another cuff. And I think there's another hat in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. This hat right here. So let's close out this full screen mode. And now we've got our guy. He's got his hat. He's happy. He's dancing. And what I found cool was that the eye constraints actually transferred as well. So when his head turns, his eyes still look in the direction he was looking. So this is just one way to get a rig from Blender into Houdini so that you can use him, I don't know, as a particle, maybe a crowd participant, uh, whatever you want. And with that, I'm just going to sign out.